Hi guys, good evening. I just want to share a new NFT game, an upcoming NFT game. It's called Akin. It says here, reimagine a play to earn metaverse where the virtual and real world converge. So I'm very excited for this upcoming game. And what makes Akin unique is that it's play to earn, that's free to play. A play-to-earn metaverse that allows players to start playing and earning without any initial fee. So you don't need specific NFTs or to buy. But actually everyone can play. At the same time, earn some tokens. It's a sustainable game economy to ensure the rewards remain attractive to existing and new players. In the long run, we found the solution to maintain a sustainable and growing game economy and like the new games right now it's only for good for one to three months and then it dies down number three is that it's a mobile geolocation based so mobile geolocation based gaming is on the rise and we will become the pioneer of the mobile play to earn category in the blockchain so it's like a pokemon go and you're using like your location the gps and from there, uh, there are different kind of uh, activities, and it's very fun and exciting. And lastly, I'm very excited for the real world token utility. Users who earn fin do not have to convert into fiat to use in the real world. We provide spe special privileges and ben benefits when they pay in fin. So, uh, I believe that even the non-crypto users will be able to appreciate this because they can actually interact with fin tokens not going into crypto space itself okay what are the overview of fit it says here nexus world no a mobile metaverse with a digital layer that is mapped in the real world where users can explore play, participate, and activities based on their geolocation. It's amazing not only in Singapore, but actually they have actually mapped the real world. So bodies, each body is a non-fungible token or NFT and digital representation of character in Nexus world. They are collectible unit with attributes and properties. Here we can able to buy NFTs with this cute, bodies and we're able to interact with them in the game the nexus land nexus land is a digital representation of real estate in the virtual world that is mapped according to the real world each land is represented by an hexagon so maybe possible in the future uh, you will be able to have your own land a real estate virtual uh, in the virtual world where we can be able to have it rented or leased or even sold Structures. Users can build structures in their land in Nexus and their structures are digital representation of properties in the virtual world. A Nexus structure has its own set of characteristics and can be purchased from the marketplace. I'm excited for this. Be able to build different structures in your own Nexus land. Campaign. There will be campaign activities in Nexus where, for example, Nexus characters, also known as buddies, will be planned planted at a shopping mall where users may hunt throughout the augmented real land. So it's very excited for this and the real world token utility which I discussed earlier. Coming in 2022 is the bodies, the Nexus land and the token sale plan. We're actually in the pre-sale right now and we're very excited for this upcoming December 30. Okay. For the for the team, they are all docs. So they are mostly based in Singapore. And I'm very excited for them because uh, they already show their faces and they are not ashamed or in hiding in sharing Affin to us. So, Lucas Lee is the founder and CEO officer. Lucas Lee has nine-year experience leading international teams and expanding 
merchants and partnerships. So I'm very excited for this. Actually, all the they have uh, videos for that interview. So we have Christina Yip, a chief marketing officer, having led and transformed fintech and blockchain companies across Asia since 2015. Amazing. And Dennis Wan, the chief development officer known for his nearly two decades experience in games for console and mobile platform. Dennis is a veteran senior producer and blockchain advocate. And I want to emphasize that he worked in Konami before, uh, Boucheroid and Gumi, where he spearheaded the development of games collaboratively with Nintendo, Square Enix, and Disney. Amazing. So his uh, key portfolio includes Final Fantasy, Brave, x Big Hero 6, Bot Fight, and Vanguard Zero. So Franklin Chua, Chief Technology Officer, being awarded top 10 in the prestigious Microsoft Imagine Cup for two consecutive years. Amazing. Calvin T, T Game Director, he was also awarded as first place of the out of 800 game submission for the RPG category in the indie game. And Tommy Chu, Director of Public Relations, he has been in the media industry for more than 12 years and specialized in PR and marketing. And these are their other staffs. We have their advisors, uh, strategic advisor James Lee, Raymond Pang, Hiroshi Shida. Actually, is from ex Ubisoft senior full stack developer, and we also have a legal counsel by Bernard Tan and business development advisor Darren Stan. For the pitch deck, it's an overview. So this is just a amazing feature of Affid. Again, it's it's really unique because it's play to earn, free to play, geolocation, play to earn, sustainable game economy, and real world token utility. So this is actually the problem of the game right now. Players are not getting a cut, have no ownership and no control in booming gaming industry. And most play-to-earn games are currently facing the issue of unsustainable game economy. Again, I've said before, it's if you have a new game, it's very like a short term, or one to three months, and it dies down. The fundamental issue of crypto adaptation is that very few buy crypto for the purpose of using it and therefore continue to be speculative instruments so by doing this real world utility it will help so what will it do is that it has actually mapped the nexus virtual world where you know, you can have play to earn and then you will earn fin you no know, and then fin it can have be used in the real world. Amazing. So you're just playing here in the Nexus world when you earn Finn, and then you can even top you no know, the non crypto users who buy Finn token you no know, for the utilization of the coin. This is just a sample. Of the, the beautiful and colorful gra graphics of Affin can also have different ways to earn. Visit landmarks, different landmarks in the world, collect different bodies, and you can have your Nexus virtual land. You can have it rented or even sold, and campaign quests and events. Augmented reality activity campaign in Nexus, where, for example, we will announce at 20. Wildlife bodies will be attacking a shopping mall this weekend. Users who help capture them will earn fin tokens, where they who captured green dino will win a trip to Harris. Amazing. I'm looking forward for that. And digital layer hexagon grids covers the entire Earth's surface for users to buy, own, develop, and monetize the land. Amazing. Amazing. 
values and nexus of the land income. You can have income, you can build structures, and you can lease and even host your nexus land. So in real world, users can enjoy special privileges, benefit access to exclusive products and services from our merchant partners when they use utilize PIN within the ecosystem. So it's not only in the game, but you can have it in the real world. So this is actually their plan, Lifestyle Merchant Network, incentivize different merchants all over the world where they will accept the FIN token. By allowing our merchants partners to tap in the unlimited spending of the community that they help us build, this approach is more inclusive and collaborative where not only do we bring existing FIN customers to them, they also incentivize to bring non-users to go to the community with us. So there's a global network of merchants will be incentivized no, to bring users to the community. So this is the economic flow. Users buy FIN. Pay less are with FIN as compared to paying cash. And then it will go here. You have a cash flow. And here is the merchant where the non-users cash it for the bill. The merchant benefits a traffic from Affin users because maybe they have different discounts or they can use their own Affin tokens. Exposure in Affin platforms by a different marketing brand or even branding advertisement and risk-free marketing costs. So wow. Actually, there are 12 uses of Fin. Amazing. It's a virtual land marketplace nexus shop user created activity nexus advertisement virtual events dining shopping entertainment travel live events and activities wow i think this is my first time to see 12 different use case of token and this is the ecosystem i've shared it before and the allocation so we have one billion FIN total supply, 30.5% will be in the foundation. The founder's team advisor will get 18%. You have a launch pad at 2%. Pre-sale is actually incoming. It will be 13%. Strategic partners, 3%. Private institutions, 8%. Seed institutions, 3%. Initial Cap 1% marketing is 10.2% and reserve we have 11.3%. Not so bad. So token plan is actually a pre-sale is $0.08 and the launch pad is 0.14. Roadmaps. Q4 2020 started a year ago. Team formation ideas. So actually right now, we are in the Q4 2021 design tech, whitelist registration, fundraising, secure audit checks, mass marketing campaign, official fin token listing, and I will be excited for that. In Q2, Q3, Metaverse Virtual World Services, Lifestyle Real World Services, pre-sale of virtual lands, security checks, audits, brand awareness, a target to list more exchanges, you know, different DEX and CEX. Q4, development of Beta Phase 1, Lifestyle Real World Services, Metaverse Virtual World Services, development of Beta Phase 2, And Q4. Uh, these are the teams. And I believe that's all. Thank you for watching and God bless.